So I thought I'd just do a quick video to explain how I'm doing my crypto trading when it comes to 3Commerce. That's the platform that I'm using, the, the tool if you want to call it that. Um, the settings and everything else, um, uh, it's quite an experience to learn but there's lots of videos online to show you how to do it. But uh, the reason why I use a platform like this and my method behind it I'm willing to share and show. Um, so as you see here, these are all the open trades at the moment that you see over here on the left. And you can see the total of Bitcoin is 32%, and that's there as a backup um, for all these other trades. Um, I'm going to show you just a few little things. This, this gives you the, uh, the, the, the total income that you've got on, at this time. And you can obviously go back on history and see where it was a couple of days ago. And um, yeah, what's happening day on day. And this is on the dashboard. Okay, so uh, if I go to the deals themselves, um, You'll see these are the different coins that we're busy trading at the moment. And as you can see, they're all on their way up. This is today's profits, or not profits, but the growth of these particular coins. I'm doing 40 coins at the moment. Uh, uh, well, actually, 49 tokens, if you have a look over there. However, I'm only trading uh, 40 of them at a time at the moment based on what equity I've got left over here. So I'll keep monitoring it and moving it um, to make sure that there's enough equity to come out of a trade. And uh, just to show you some of the deals themselves, uh, first of all, I'm going to go and show you the, the robots themselves that are set up. Um, so here's where the robots and the statistics are. Uh, the, uh, the statistics are. Um, I changed from I was trading back to the US dollar for a period of time, and I changed everything over to the to the Bitcoin because there was rumors that Bitcoin was going to go through the roof, uh, which didn't happen. It actually went the wrong direction. And this is the date when I changed over to trading back to Bitcoin instead of trading over to US dollar. Um, so if you have a look over here, this gives you the total profit that's been made uh, from the 29th of November. There's $3,264 worth of Bitcoin that was saved back to Bitcoin on profits. And here's the daily profits for every day. So you can see uh, the best day here is $362. And uh, you can see the other averages. And uh, yesterday was $346, and today so far, and it's now well, 5 or 8, remember it goes through to midnight, is $230 in profit. And here's the profit on every one of the coins that, uh, that's been traded. Okay, so um, these are the coins that we're busy trading. And uh, just to give you some insight, um, I also trade against the uh, US dollar against the Bitcoin on a, on a short when it goes in the wrong direction. Um, I've turned that off at the moment, although it is still trading that, so there is some of the equity sitting in USD. Um, but I'll just leave it there until Bitcoin turns around and uh, hopefully we'll come out in a profit. Anyway, so as I said, there's $230 profit for today, and there's a total profit that's been made since I started with uh, three commas of 27,000 27, US dollars, and that was from July. Um, and I started with uh, 250 rand in value. Um, so I'm not sure what that is in US dollars. I'll just tell you quickly. 250,000 rand to USD. So that was 15,000 US dollars. That's what it started with. Um, and uh, this is showing you that there's, there's 41 active trades at the moment. And uh, the total funds that are in other, uh, other coins and not in Bitcoin is 28,900. And if I closed everything right now, um, I would be in a loss on the on the open trades of one thousand two hundred dollars. Um, so this is uh, uh, the what do they call this again? Um, the profit and loss of, of open trades, basically. I can't remember the exact name of it. I did look it up on Google at once to get an understanding of what UPNL is, but now I've forgotten the, uh, what it stands for. Anyway, but basically if I closed all the trades, that's what we'd be losing on investments that are in those trades. So I almost look at it like loaned money because they always turn around and when they turn around, we get that money back. Um, so if you take the, the now money, which is 42500 at the top here, where it says real account, um, for the day it's down by $19. However, that 1232 we get back. Um, so. Like I say, that's in the trades that are in the negative at the moment. So if you have a look here at the trades, uh, you'll see the positives. Um, starting at the top, I've just sorted by the, the biggest amount that's, uh, that's going to pay out and where it is. And you can see the positives and then you can see the negatives of the trades that I've 
have been running. Some of them have been running for a long time. Um, the worst one at the moment, if you have a look here, uh, we're in a minus of $296. That was minus $400 about two days ago. And uh, that was opened on the 1st of the 12th. So some we have to wait a long time. Others happen in minutes. And just to show you the examples that we never lose a trade, if I go to the history, and um, we look at the history, let's just look at, um, uh, let's just, uh, you see, even though it shows a minus, it's not a minus, that's the profit that was made. Um, I just want to show you here, let's just go to yesterday or any particular day, but um, I'll go back a few days as well, but let's just go back and look at just yesterday's trades. So this is yesterday's trades. And you'll see this was open for about four hours and it made $5.72. And uh, you can see the percentages. Um, what my target is, is 2%. And um, what I do is I put a, a um, what do we call it, a trailing stop loss. So if, the, if it goes up more than 2%, it'll take that profit. Um, but what happens is uh, it cuts down by 0.4. So, Basically, if it goes, if it gets to two percent, um, it waits, and if it uh, drops by 0.4 percent, it then sells. So that's what happened here, for example. Um, if it keeps going up, it'll keep going up until it goes as high as it can possibly go, and then when it comes down again, uh, you'll see like this is 3.43 percent, and it obviously it actually got to that plus 0.4, so it must have got to 0.383 and then come down to 0.43 and that's when it sold out and, and stopped and, uh, and that was the profit that was made on that trade and this trade was going on for 14 days um, so you can see they're all very different from each other that's one that's gone for an hour um, hour there's three minutes um, so it really does vary um, there's two hours, four days but as you can see you don't see any losses on any trades um, yeah. Like I say, every trade is a profit. Um, so let's go back a few, let's go to any date, the 8th. Okay, so on the 8th, it is. No, no, that's, when I say that's not true, it probably hasn't sorted correctly, so I'm just going to do it again. The key when you do this is you click once and you wait, and once it's completed, you click again, and then it will filter correctly. So that's probably from the 8th till today, and this is for that day. So that day there was $328 and 64 trades. And so if you look on the 8th, you'll see these are all closed on the 8th. Uh, that was for 21 minutes, and so it goes on. As you can see, every trade that closes is in a profit. Um, you know, the, the key and the, the way I explain it, like over here you see it looks like a minus, but it's not a minus. It's still three dollars and sixty uh, sixty cents profit, and that's what it's all based on is the profit. Um, that is just that uh, it closed there, but the value of it went up, so there was still three point six dollars profit. Remembering there's there's different changes and variables here all the time, um, but the key is the profit that you make. So everything must be a profit, as you see here. Now the way that I explain it or try and explain it to people is that what we're doing is we basically buying and selling coins against each other. So if you look at it as apples and bananas, um, say we, we're trying to build up our bananas, which happens to be the Bitcoin, and what happens is we sell some of our bananas to buy some oranges. Now the oranges go down in price, so we buy more oranges because you must always buy low and sell high. And then as it goes down some more, we buy some more. And we keep buying more until it turns around by even 2%. And when it turns around by 2%, we've bought enough of it that all of the oranges that we sell will end up with 2% profit on top of the cost of all of those oranges and will buy back more bananas. And we just keep buying more bananas, being the Bitcoin, and that's how we grow the Bitcoin. Um, I don't know if that helps to explain it. So what happens at any time, it doesn't matter whether there's a crash or whatever happens, we always stuck with all our fruit. So we've got the bananas, which is what we're trying to grow, and we've got all the other fruit, which are all the other coins that we now hold on to and we own them, and we can keep owning them indefinitely forever. Um, and then when those fruit turn around and uh, make enough profit to buy more bananas than what we initially started with, that's when we sell. And that's why every sale is a profit. Um, so we've always got the, the bananas, the apples, the, whatever it is, but the bottom line is that we keep growing the bananas or the Bitcoin. And that's the key to the formula of what I'm using.
And uh, like I say, the proof is in the results. Um, like I say, you can go to any period you want or any day and you'll see that every day is profit. So there you go. So there, there was only six, six trades that day. And on those six trades, you made $212 in profit. And uh, we, with that profit, we could have bought USD, but um, I'm buying Bitcoin. And the reason why I'm buying Bitcoin is Bitcoin is always going to go up in the long run. And uh, that's where the benefit is. Yeah, this one went for seven days. And uh, you can see there were nine trades sold or nine, nine trades filled. And on the nine trades, you made $32 profit. And that was on 2.19% of the total investment, uh, which was uh, 0.0313 of the Bitcoin. Well, that's what came back out. This is actually the profit over here, the Bitcoin profit. So it doesn't look like much over here, but it all adds up because of the number of trades that we had. Um, I just want to see if we can see uh, the number of trades every day, because it is somewhere that shows you the number of trades every day. Right there, you can see uh, that it's active deals. I'm just trying to see where the, the trades for the day are. But I'm sure this should give you a bit of insight of how it works and give you a bit of confidence in how the system works. Um, no, it doesn't really show you the trades yet. Um, well, I can't find it now, but there is a place that will show you the number of trades. Well, I suppose it does show you on a day to day basis anyway uh, when you look at the closed deals. Anyway, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I'm um, happy to, uh, to oblige. Oh, so if you have a look from the 1st of December till now, um, just to see what the profit and how many trades is, 570, 565 trades that are closed, and that was $3,877 in profit. So if you have a look through here, you'll see most of the trades are very small. Um, zero is the first trade, and uh, as it goes up, that's the number of trades. So it's actually one plus that number as far as the number of trades go. But as you can see, all of them are in profit. Tell me any other system that you know of where you actually close every deal on a profit. Go to the next page. Like I say, give me a date and I'll show you the profit. Yeah, as I was saying, you're welcome to um, let me know and I'll give you a link to uh, register yourself and start using the same tool. Um, alternatively, let me know if you want to come into the pool. And I'll explain how that works, uh, where I do the trading for you. Um, these failures, just by the way, um, it's failures, uh, it says less than a minute. Um, so I think it was a problem that it couldn't close the trade or open the trade um, for whatever reason. But uh, it's not a problem. We still own that asset, and when the time comes and it can sell, it sells. Um, that's basically it. So you'll see a lot of failures at that time, but uh, it was probably for a reason of problems on the exchange or something. But still, every trade that you see here, you'll see as a profit. Let's go to the fifth, day, fifth page. I think that's where I'm going to leave it. I'll just show you this page and then I'll close off this video. And then some of them are very small profits and some of them are pretty, pretty big. In fact, let me see if I can't uh, see the biggest trade and the smallest trade. Let me go to a range. Uh, well, let's just say, um, let's just go anywhere here. Let's say from September till, till now. And then I'll just sort by the, the, the biggest profit made. And uh, we can have a look and see percentage. Uh, it's peers, status. Ah, I don't see, I don't know, we can't obviously can't sort by percentage. I'd like to have shown you what the biggest profit trade is. And there's $34. Um, there have been fairly, fairly big sized ones. But, uh, oh, 
I mean, you can see it's, it's definitely not uh, looking at specific places. I'm just going anywhere and showing you the data. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm not sure where I can show you the biggest profits. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, and uh, yeah, uh, let me know if you've got.